Hey guys, just wanted to do a quick guide on re-enabling the console and being able to enter basically dev commands that were available in the early release of the game that they disabled with 1.05 patch. And the reason I'm doing this is because the game is super, super, super grindy. If you just want to like test out a particular skill tree and max it out, you'll be playing for a long time. And if that skill tree turns out not what you want or you change your mind, you've got to grind the other skill trees and it, it, you know it's it's grindy so i, I want to help people skip all that and as well i i know a lot of people will be getting stuck trying to re-enable it because when you search for cyberpunk feet this is what comes up it's uh, i'll just show you the top three just so you get an idea so this is with the intention to help people out that want to free roam and have fun in free roam buy all the cars and just mess around kind of like you would in gta so it's for those specific people not for people that are still playing the story, because obviously play through the story first and then do your do your free roam cheating after, unless you're just after a particular car or something and you don't want to grind for it. So you can see here that these enable, you can go to Cyber Console Mod, which allows you to access the developer's debug console. And this is what comes up. Uh, it says that it's been disabled as of 1.05. You can get Cyber Engine. Uh, on GitHub, which is like a pack of tweaks that optimize the game a little bit and help it run better and as well re-enable their own version of the console. But the problem is those cons that version doesn't use the exact same console commands as the original developer version, so you can't just find like a website with a cheat guide and steal everything off it. Uh, for example, you can't just use this command here that has money cheats that worked on the original. You have to put it in differently. So this will not work. This line will not work in Cyber Engine. So this is where I think a lot of people are going to get stuck and they'll look at the GitHub and just be like, what the heck is this? Like, where do I go? And so I'm just going to streamline it all for you. I'm just going to guide you right through it. So go to releases and the top one, release.zip, a small zip file. It's, it's four files that go into your game folder, but don't worry, I'm going to show you how to get rid of it after as well. And just save it somewhere, your release.zip. You can see it 1.4 MB. And if you don't have your own extractor, like I use 7-zip, Windows has a built-in one now with Windows 10. Just hit Extract All, and it'll let you choose a folder. So as you can see here, I can just put it in a folder called Release rather than having it dump into this folder. So Extract, and it opened it straight away. Uh, so that's the folder there. You can delete the zip. And in this Release folder, you've got these four three files and a folder. Cut or copy them, go to your Cyberpunk install folder, wherever that is. So GOG, you know, pause this video while you're following so that you can catch up. And it's in bin x64, paste it all in there. And I've already got the files in there, I'm just gonna replace right over them just to show you, cause I've just re-downloaded it, just to show you that it's working. It's not like dodgy or anything like that. So replace files in destination and there we go. And then all you got to do is launch the game and you're, you'll have a version of the console working again, but you'll have to put in your own commands, which this is where also people that even people familiar with console commands will still get a little bit stuck because it's not very clear, the instructions. So one other thing is when you launch it, when you launch the game, don't alt tab, don't multitask while it's launching because the DLL has to hook in. And if you alt tab while it's loading into memory, uh, it breaks your your game will just get stuck with a menu like the mouse won't work so that's the mistake i did is i was trying to navigate the navigate the website and see the commands to do and i all tabbed out and then i thought that the cyber engine was broken with my specs like i thought it didn't work from my computer so as you can see it's working because i didn't alt tab and i'm just going to load up a game that has no i haven't done any console commands in so it's just a game I've grinded manually. Alrighty, so that's loaded up. And now I'm going to show you, just real quick, because I want to show you why I'm doing this video. Not It's not just specifically for views, because I was just looking at this thinking, man, this is trouble for me, uh, like... Obviously, it's going to be hard for people that aren't familiar with this kind of stuff. So if you go to the wiki, which you think is the closest thing to what a guide heading might be, it'll direct you here to a Cyber Engine Tweaks Guide. And on this Cyber Engine Tweaks Guide, it's just 
like you might be able to get this far. You'll get as far as, okay, I want to use the console and there's a usage instructions, open the tilde key, and then maybe you'll click scripts and you'll see this. This is about as far as most people will get. That's how you add money. So this top line here, you got to enter that in the console. So console tilde key, scripts, add money. And then if you want to boost your level or boost your skills or boost anything else, um, you'll be stuck scrolling here trying to hunt for what to do. And even if you click other stuff, it's not that straightforward. You might be lucky and stumble into this game, add XP strength, but that's not the whole picture. You still have to hunt for other stuff. So I'm just going to show you the main commands that are useful for you. And these are in the comments, so you probably already found them if you were just looking for these commands anyway. And now we're going to try them. So you press the tilde key, you can bring it in the middle here. And the good thing about this is it works a little bit better than the default consoles in some games. You can actually copy and paste into it. So I'm going to alt tab out. I want to add money first. So control C to copy this line. And then control V to paste it. And I want to add 50 million at least. A bit better than hacking. I'm hacking the game and it's. I'm kidding. Uh, so 50 million. One, two, three. One, two, three. Yeah, I think that's the right amount. And then enter. And it'll dump it into your account like you've just robbed a bank. Pretty awesome how, how it adds it that way. And this is functionality that the base game has. So it's not like you're adding a cheat engine into the game. You're using. You're basically re enabling dev commands that you could normally have done if they didn't disable the de developer console. So now we're going to try another 50 million. Oh, and instead of typing it repeatedly, say say you decide, like, oh, can I have more money than that? When, when I added another 50, it already set me at the max. So I'm already at the max limit. But you can basically just, if you added a smaller amount, you can just click this line again. I'd only work 20 if you've kept the window open. So, for example, I'll do 1,000. If I decide I want to add another 1,000, I can just click it and it'll let me chain commands together. So you can see where that might be useful for the other commands. So now we've got money, what about our levels and our, because it's, it's different, it works differently to other games. You have three separate areas that need specific commands to boost. So first, if you want to boost your main level at the top left, it's this one here, and you have to enter, and this, this is not like in the, wiki like it's not as it doesn't pop out you can find a section that's got like some of the commands uh here in dictionary string type but there is no level option here it doesn't tell you it's not straightforward so basically i figured it out by trial and error game dot add xp and use level so this is the skill or that the, what you'd put in what type of xp you want and then the amount is this number here on the right so we're going to copy that in to the console. We'll exit out so we can see it come up on the screen. Now we want level. And we're going to add, and this is adding XP. It's not going to just jump your level to 50. You have to add like a ton of XP to get that. We're going to add 1 million XP. So I was level 24, and now I'm level 50. So awesome. And you can see all, all, this, all this stuff jumps up. But you can just scroll up to find your last command if you wanted to add more XP. Where was that here? Here it is. Add XP level. And I'm just going to test this now because I didn't actually try. Can I do street cred? XP. Yes, I can. Awesome. So yeah, that wasn't in there. That wasn't in the uh, in the on the page that you'll find for string types. It's just got these here. A bit weird, they need to add those in. So now that I've added that, you can see my street cred and my level are at 50. I don't know if that's the max, maybe it is. And I also got attribute and perk points. So I didn't actually have to manually boost everything, but you can see roughly what getting to this level will give you without manually uh, leveling them. So you are kind of limited, or maybe that'll be enough to max stuff out. So you can use up those attribute points and see how far we go to see if we can fully max out a character. Because I was, I, I was actually curious, can you fully max out a character at max by hitting max level? Will you get enough points to 20 everything? Or will you have like too high and 
yeah, so you can't fully max out. So if you were thinking, oh, I'm just going to keep playing, I can grind and get unlimited uh, and get everything maxed, you're actually going to fall short uh, on the normal leveling system. So there's that. And now say you do want to have your body at 20 because your main stat will dictate how high your sub skills can reach. So as you can see here, uh, with my reflexes at 7, I can't actually level my assault. I can't level these sub skills until my reflexes, until I dump another point into reflexes. So if, I, so if you're stuck like you're already maxed out and you want to level up assault further, you're stuck until you can get another attribute point. So the way to do that is to actually use these commands, which set attribute. So set attribute, and obviously the max is 20. We're going to set our body reflexes and technical ability to 20. So paste it in there. Uh, first, we'll put body is actually called strength. You can actually see it here. I'll, I'll have these in the comments, but use the ones on the left. The brackets just what it's for. And so we'll go body 20 and then click it and enter reflexes 20. And then it's it out because it won't refresh while you're looking at it. It's all 20 now. So awesome, right? And now you now we can dump our perk points. And as you can tell by now, without manually grinding the XP in each of these sub skills, you're not gonna have enough perk points to max out your character. You're also stuck in this area. So you can't add, I don't know if you can add perk points as an actual like item. Uh, possibly. We can test that out now. Add inventory. It's called, what is, what is this called? I don't know if that'll work. This is like guessing. I don't know, probably with the perk. No, that didn't. But you know, you can experiment around. There's probably a command to add just perk points. But the other way to do it is see how you've got your skill progression in here. Now that we've maxed these out, we can max our skills. And this is the manual. It's, it is a bit tedious, but I mean, come on. Imagine how, how much time it would take to grind these manually. So add XP skill and pick your, pick your one, pick your skill. So we want to add to athletics. Athletics. And yeah. Just add the XP. So you can see here roughly how much. If, if it's 2,000 XP to get one level, and that's going to increase the higher level you go, you might need like 100k uh, or more. But I, if you put it too high, it won't work. So you just got to put it a realistic number. Don't put 99999. And try that. We'll try 100,000. And we work for athletics, and we're going to see the athletic XP come in. And if we go back here, we've got to level 15. And you can see how, how much of a grind it is. Imagine having to grind all that manually. You'd be spending... This is where a lot of the gameplay will come in. But at the same time, not everyone wants to do that. And some of us do not have unlimited time to dump into these games. We just want to have fun and you know play the story and then have some free roam fun. So athletics again. And we're going to put 500,000 athletics. Does that work? Oh, it tapped out. So yeah, there was a limit. Maybe maybe it was around 300,000 would have been enough to max it out. But as you can see here, not only have we maxed out our athletics, but we got all the perk, uh, the bonuses that come along with it, including more perk points. So you can just rinse and repeat. Uh, I don't know if you can just, if it'll let me just click it. Yeah, it does. Okay, so it just depends. Sometimes it, I need to click at a specific spot or something. But yeah, you can just click the line that you entered No, that's what I tried. It didn't work. <laughs> um, you can just click the line that you entered, the last line to do with whatever stat, and then just change the name. So we're going to try it on, is Annihilation using the same name? Belt. Hacking. Got two hackings here. What does the website have? Maybe I accidentally backed it out. Rolling, hacking. Why do they have hacking twice? 
Okay, we'll, we'll just try Annihilation. I don't know if that'll actually work because it is a longer... Maybe. Nope. So maybe they haven't discovered what the original... Because they're it's like they're using some legacy commands in here. I can you not use that? Doesn't need to be in there. Oh, there's something else. Demolition, brawling. Okay, maybe we don't know. Athletics. Athletics. Brawling. Just trying to order these a little bit. But yeah, that, that, that's the rough guide. That's it. You already know everything you'd most people would want to know, and I hope that helps you out, guys, and thanks for watching. Uh, you can stick around if you want. I might just drag this video out a little bit more, see if I can find the Annihilation, because you can see that that's obviously missing from the guide, and certain things use different names. Combat hacking. And yeah, you can just stick around if you want to see that. I might be able to find the specific... Skill Annihilation. Did I just spell it wrong? Uh, assault Advanced Brigades. After... Brawling. Assault. So handguns uses gunslingers. You didn't notice. There's some that are using like, like legacy names that they had in the game. Engineering. Forward. Intelligence is reach, attacking and combat back. Good. And then finally, tool is. Oh, so that leaves demolition. Was demolition an ability? Like, is there a demolition ability here? No. So, annihilation is demolition. Yeah, so they're using like some kind of a legacy. These will be in the comments anyway, so anyone watching this would have already read that I figured it out. So demolition and then cold blood and stealth for those. So just I've just categorized them so that you can easily pick out which ones you're leveling. Uh, so save and we're gonna test that demolition command. Where was the last? I just go up find the last stat that I tried. Maybe three hundred thousand annihilation didn't work. Demolition. Yeah, so de demolition's annihilation. Um, and there you go. So it can save so much time, and you just want to have some fun, or you want to test out your builds that you don't want to, because yeah, you you can't max out everything. So if you just wanted to do a test run. This is a viable method to do your testing, and then you can actually play through the game legit, knowing that you're not going to be wasting two weeks of grinding or a month of grinding, depending on how much playtime you have, uh, spare time you have to play, grinding to to get skill, uh, to try out stuff that doesn't even work that well. So now you can actually try all this stuff out. So I hope that helps, guys, and thanks for watching again, and I'll see you in the next video when I find some more useful content to share with people. So. Yes. Oh, and like and subscribe, please. Thanks.